Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Right now, I'm going down to the shack, but I'm gonna tell you what we're all going. Being that Not Thursday is a brand new channel, we've got all kinds of brand new ideas. We're gonna spend some time with Digger Dame up in Northern Vermont. This is gonna be very cool, so definitely stay tuned. Hey folks, it is mid-March up here in Northern Vermont, 29 degrees. Today we're gonna go for a hike. We're gonna go up the ridge by my house and uh, look at the ground conditions on a home site that was one of the first in my hometown up here. Uh, late 17, very early 1800s. So here we go. So I'm down here at the base of this field and it goes up 500 yards or so. It's a little steep. We'll see how deep the snow is. This tree line, I'm gonna go up the tree line and there's a cart path at the top that'll cut into the woods. Uh, the reason I'm going this way is the woods that way are up, down, lumpy, and uh, not in this conditions. It'll just beat the heck out of me. Well, we made it, folks. Here we are. There's the cart path. And uh, got a be beautiful view up here. And we've landed. There's the, the hole. It's not much to look at this time of year. It's full of snow. But we're going to dig around and uh, see if we can't break some ground. So this is a pit in the snow that I dug last month. And it got down to the dirt. And uh, it was soft. We've had quite a bit more since then. The pit's probably 16 inches deep or so, uh, and then we hit this stuff. So let's see if we can get into it. Oh, well there's the ground right there. And it's frosted since I took the snow away last time. Let's, uh, let's see. Uh, well, I can get through the frost. And that's a good sign for the area around the hole. Everything that's underneath the rest of the snow should be diggable. We probably won't be doing that today. We're gonna have to wait for this to melt off. I'll clear off, you know, this couple inches of snow and uh, we'll see what we can find. I'm gonna turn the sensitivity up a little bit. Well, there's some iron in there. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to break up this frost and see if we can get any better signals. Alright, let's see if it sounds any better. Get more iron. Well, we got to ground. It's frost, but I don't think we're going to find anything today. Small victory. Got into the dirt. I know it's an old home site. We just gotta wait. It's gonna be a few weeks. We need some warm weather. Oh, it took the wind out of me. It's a beautiful day. There's plenty of sunlight. And I've got an idea. Now, this is home site number one. I wanna follow the dead road that cuts down to the south and around through the valley. And I think there's another home site. Might be brutal. It looked like, when I looked down the cart path, it looked like somebody had hiked it a couple, maybe a few days ago, maybe last week. So at least the, it's broken up a little bit. But as you saw, me hiking up the field, when you break through that crust, it's freaking deep. So I'm gonna have a little quiet time here. Get my lungs back in order. We'll hike down the dead road, see if we can find anything. Might not be able to see it with all this snow, but we'll look for the signs and hopefully we can locate it. Still up at site number one. I figured I'd give you a little backstory on uh, my neck of the woods. In 1764, King George III chartered a land grant of 20,000 acres 
which now covers my town and the adjoining town. Mountains and valleys and the Lamoille River in between. 1785, the Continental Congress uh, granted that same tract to a gentleman who he and his family settled up here. Uh, people had been settling here since the 1750s. They initially settled in the mountains, away from the river valleys, um, and it wasn't until you know the very early 1800s, maybe late 17s, that they started settling en masse in the valleys, and that's when they set up mostly woolen mills. There were a lot of sheep up here. The woolen industry uh, was was the prime employer besides farming. So this site dates to, I'm I'm guessing, but it, it fits all the criteria of uh, you know 1770s to uh, you know 1800 at the max, and would have been abandoned early 1800s as folks moved down towards the river. Uh, it's a small plot on a rise. Uh, the field that I hiked up would have been his uh, grazing and or uh, agricultural field. And that's the way we'll go back. I'm gonna traverse across the top of the field and then down, uh, it's a little less grueling. But I think once I've caught my breath, I got this all filled in here, so it looks relatively nice. Um, we'll take a walk down the dead road and see if we can't locate that other home site. So there's a little depression right above my head. Might not be a proper foundation, it might be a cabin site, but I found it. It was rough going. Oh man, that's deep, like knee deep. Let's take a look. So I'm sitting right on the lip. Kind of goes out that way, out and back. You can see the back lip there. <sighs> Underneath this is a cellar hole or maybe a cabin depression. Hard telling not knowing. I've never been here before. I looked up on the old maps and uh, it showed a, ca a, a structure here. It wasn't labeled, had been abandoned. So it's probably from the same time frame as the one way up there. Come spring, we're coming back. You never know what you're gonna find. But today was a victory. Just getting out in the woods after being stuck inside all winter. Uh, and it's bearable out. No hat, no gloves. I uh, love it. So this is my neighborhood. I'm about 45 minutes from the Canadian border and uh, I love it up here. It's the Green Mountains. So Saskatchewan's got a lot of history. It was more the Wild West up here. It wasn't quite so much uh, regulation from the Crown as far as uh, mandating the building of roads and, uh, and walls. So we see far fewer walls up here. So it makes, makes reading the signs just a little bit more difficult. Because you'll have a dead road, but you won't really see in the forest uh, the traditional boundary lines for squares. I'm just very fortunate that this, this is in my neighborhood and I didn't know about it until just recently. Well, I thank you all for joining me. It's been on an awesome day. I hope you've enjoyed it. I really, uh, really enjoyed today. I'm gonna head back to the house, get some coffee, and as always, enjoy your not Thursday. <laughs>